Hey guys, Altcoin Sherpa here. As always, this is not financial advice and for, this is for educational purposes only. Uh, I'm not a professional and trading is very risky. Do your own research. Okay, so I would like to just hop in and do a quick market review. Uh, I'm just going to try and make this as quick as I can because everybody has short attention spans these days and the market is crazy. So look at uh, BTC USD on the one week. Uh, this is the important one week um, resistance area and you can see this several times. You know, price initially broke down back in 2018 and uh, could never close above this area in all of 2019. We had some close above uh, this region in 2020 in the summer and prices slowly consolidated uh, since then and finally this week we are breaking through okay so where are we at in regards to that uh, I believe this liquidity uh, around 12k has been slowly grinded through uh, remember as price continually tests a certain area that area gets weaker whether it's support or resistance so uh, this area of resistance in the 12 K's is slowly getting broken down and prices eating through that area and you can see uh, lots of consolidation in that area right here um, buyers are slowly consuming the sellers okay so where is the next logical area that I can see the next logical area is this 14k region. There are certainly going to be some sellers, in my opinion, uh, around 14k. And this is the swing high. However, I think that ultimately price is going to look for this area all the way up here in 16k. There's probably a lot more liquidity up here and price has already consumed some of these sellers right here in this region so it wouldn't surprise me to see price grind along here explode up come down and that's kind of what I'm expecting right now I'm expecting price to grind through these sellers explode past 14k and I can also see something like this too where price grinds test 14k retraces has a quick rebound test 16k go down that that's also a consideration as well but ultimately 16k is where I am targeting in the next few weeks I believe that price is still bullish um, it's interesting to me to observe the low amount of volume on this break, but if you think about it, price has been uh, consolidating in this region for uh, weeks now, and I'm guessing the slow grind has been um, slowly consuming sellers. So we probably don't need as much volume to break out of this area. I'm guessing there's going to be a big volume push outside of 14k is my guess and there's probably going to be a lot of volume when price does test 14k but that's my overall prediction on bitcoin i believe that we're eventually going to test 16k eventually in the next few weeks or maybe one or one and a half two months maybe and then head on down i'm not sure where the support level will be i'm gonna to have to take a look uh, I'll probably use the FIB retrace, but anywhere from 12 to 11K is my guess for support on the way down. That's where I think for Bitcoin. ETHUSD, uh, this is an old chart, sorry, I'm going to remove this. Uh, ETHUSD, I believe, is quite bullish. Price has been uh, consolidating in this range for many weeks now. And it hasn't had quite the explosive growth that Bitcoin has, but I believe that Ethereum is actually going to have a very strong uh, December. And why do I say that? You can check to see 
Historically, December uh, has been an awesome time for Ethereum, ETHUSD specifically, and arguably more than Bitcoin. Even in the bear market of 2018, it still went up uh, 92%. And then, again, 140, 150%. So here is the reason why I'm very bullish on Ethereum in December. 200% uh, just from December in 2017, obviously it went well above that during the entire run after the summer accumulation uh, here. But even in the bear market, it went 100% in 2018 and then 150% in 2020. I'm sorry, 20, yeah, 2020 or 20, 2019, I apologize. And so anyways, where's the next area that I'm targeting for Ethereum. Uh, I would not be surprised to see if Bitcoin goes up to the 16Ks, I wouldn't be surprised to see this nearly double and go up to something like this, to the 800s. Now, of course, this is a small sample. It's only three years and crypto is a relatively young market. But even with, Bit with Ethereum going 100% in 2018, at the end of 2018, it's not, in my opinion, it's not crazy to think that Ethereum could to test $800. And I am in Ethereum myself. ETHBTC, this is historically a good indicator for alt season because Ethereum is traditionally a strong altcoin that leads. Uh, like ETH USD, it also has strong Decembers. Uh, this was obviously 2017, the greatest alt season that we've ever seen. Uh, I'm sorry, that was that was before. This is um, oh yeah, this is no, this is, this is the alt season right here, greatest alt season we've ever seen, 2017. Uh, still pretty good gains for ETH BTC in December 2018 and we didn't see quite as an explosive move this year for ETH BTC uh, but if ETH outperforms Bitcoin in the winter I'm not quite sure on that yet uh, you could maybe target something like 0.055 something like this that would be my kind of my target. But in, in terms of the short term, uh, you saw price range here for almost a year in 2019 before breaking down. Uh, so it's not super surprising that you see price also ranging here during this time as well. There's still probably some sellers all along uh, this 0.039 area. And so... My guess is that 0 0.039 is the area to break. And once it does, I'm expecting it to test 0 0.055. Because if you look at uh, the volume profile, there's really not as much um, price action in between these two. So it wouldn't surprise me to see this go all the way through. Anyways, it looks like I hit under 10 minutes. So that's great. Uh, be safe. I really think that December is going to be very good for all of us. Uh, that's a time when Bitcoin and altcoins, alt USD, alt US, alt BTC, and Bitcoin they all pump. Uh, so it's genius season. You can't do any wrong during that time. Save your money until that time, and do not get chopped up. Uh, good luck.